Good morning folks and welcome back to the bar. Today we're going to be talking coffee. Today's coffee is from the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf Company. My nephew bought me this coffee. Now we're going to review this. We're actually going to make it in a Keurig. Not a pour over or anything like that. We're going to make it simple. We're just going to put it in a Keurig because that's what most people use every day. Whether it's a Keurig or Tassimo, it doesn't really matter. A lot of people are in a hurry nowadays. You want things fast. You want things simple. So, we're going to review this coffee in a Keurig. Now, two ways I like to drink it. Sometimes black but most of the time with milk. So we're going to try it both ways. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about this. This coffee here costs $10 for a 12 ounce bag. Not a bad price. We're going to see what it tastes like. All right, immediately on the nose, you can tell it's dark. Smells good. It smells like chocolate in there as well. Alright, so I'm going to fill up this K-Pod. Just wash them out once in a while. And you're good to go. I have noticed though when you are using the K-Pod, don't pack the coffee tight. Okay, I used to pack it tight and it have all kinds of problems. Just leave it in there loose, brush it across the top, make sure the top is clear, and you'll be good to go. All right, while that is brewing, let's talk a little bit about the Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf Company. Uh, this particular coffee here is a single origin Brazilian coffee. Uh, Cerrado, C-E-R-R-A-D-O, dark roast. It says bold aroma, earthy flavor, and bittersweet on the finish. We're about to find out. Now, I've never had this coffee before, so this will be a new one for me. I'm going to read to you what it says on the side of the bag here. Uh, Little Bean Long Journey. We travel to family-owned farms around the world to help the finest 1% of Arabica beans fulfill their dreams of calling California home. We're in Ontario. Canada. Just throwing that out there. Also says here it is hand roasted. So we hand roast our coffee daily in small batches to create a traditional smooth taste profile. We've done it this way since 1963 when we opened our first store in Los Angeles, California. Explains why they're referring to California. We nurture long lasting relationships with our growers. We support their earth friendly growing practices and social responsibility standards particularly the conscientious way they treat their workers and families. Folks, I'm going to tell... What a mess. Don't tell Jen. She's going to kill me. Uh, that last statement right there is uh, quite important. Quite important. Um, a lot of the farmers in Colombia, Brazil, and around the world are not treated fairly when it comes to coffee. This is something a lot of us drink every day, and we take it for granted. We don't necessarily stop and consider where the coffee come from. There's a lot of people in the fields picking coffee for us to drink. And for them to be treated fairly is the way it should be. So I always like to look at the coffee to see where it comes from before I buy it myself. I look to see that it's fair trade. And hopefully that's a truthful statement on the bag. Um, I have to take it at face value because I don't really know. But fair trade is the way it needs to be when it comes to coffee. Because those people work awfully hard. To get us coffee. Let's see what we got. Okay, I'm not getting a whole lot on the nose here. You can definitely smell that it is a dark roast coffee. We're going to try it first black, then we're going to try it with milk. I can definitely taste the earthy flavor. Um, I'm getting a little bit of chocolate. I'm not quite sure why that is. According to the bag, there's no chocolate on here. But So this is not a coffee that you want to drink at 7 o'clock at night at all. And if any of you know me, I drink a ton of coffee. 
from morning to the time I go to bed, I drink a ton of coffee. Uh, black with this coffee is not going to be my thing. It's just uh, got a way too much of a bitter taste on it. So, we're going to add some milk. One of my most seen comments in the comment description down below is, you got milk in a bag? And those come from my American friends. Yes, here in Canada, we have milk in a bag. We also have it in a cardboard carton. But we also buy milk in what we call a big bag, which contains three smaller bags, like this one here. See? Well, I got that in there. Are we weird? Yeah, maybe. We are Canadian, right? I don't put a lot of milk in there. I just put enough in there to change the color. Still got a little bit of that bitter taste on the back end there, but, but it's a very nice drink of coffee. Again, not something you're going to want to drink just before you go to bed. At all. All right, let's go to the coffee bean and leaf. All right, Brazilian dark ground, single origin. Don't know that you can see that there. Probably not. But that's the same bag that I have there. Uh, Brazilian dark roast, ground single origin coffee from coffee bean and tea leaf. In the description here it says the profile is a dark roast, full bodied with a bold aroma. That it is. Earthy flavor and bittersweet finish. Again, that it is. We just read that. This coffee came from the Corrado region of Brazil. Now, single origin coffee means it comes from the same place. It's not mixed beans. Beans are not mixed from different places. It just comes from one place. So there you have it. I'm going to give this a rating out of 10. Now, I drink my coffee, no sugar. It's either black or with milk. And then I also debate a lot of times during the videos as to whether I can drink it black. This one here, we won't drink it black. It, it's a... Too bitter on the back end, so I add a little bit of milk and it just cuts it down. So, if I rate this with the milk in it the way I like to drink it, I would rate this a seven and a half because this is an inexpensive coffee. This coffee was bought on sale yet again, not just $9.99, but it was bought on sale for $7.99. $8 Canadian for a 12 ounce bag of coffee. You can't beat that. But I will not be drinking that before bed. So that's all I got for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. hope you got something out of that. And if you haven't already done so, would you mind hitting that red button? i got to keep adjusting my glasses. Hitting the red button, ringing the bell, give me a thumbs up, and leave me a comment down below. It all helps. That's all I got. I'll see you all in the next one. And remember, the best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. Later. travel to family-owned farms around the world to help the finest 1% of Arabica beans. Start that one over again. <laughs>